My name is Ian Shirt. I'm the Operations Manager here at AutoPro in the Calgary office. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the difference between a PLC and DCS systems. A PLC tends to be a multi-vendor, highly flexible control system. A uh, DCS system typically is a single vendor, highly integrated control system that has all the functionality built into the control system, including the controllers, the graphical user interface, and all other functionality is supplied by one vendor. The lines are becoming blurred from a PLC systems are starting to become more integrated than they used to be in the past, and DCS systems are responding by using the um, open communication protocol and, and allowing other vendor packages to support their DCS system. So they're kind of competing with one another. The advantage of a PLC over a DCS system, the primary one is cost because the hardware and the software is much less expensive. Now th there's a bit of a trade-off because there's a lot more effort involved in uh, integrating these discrete components. PLC systems scale down really well. If you're putting a control system in and you only need certain components, you know, if you have certain reporting requirements or things like that, uh, historians, you might not need some of those components. So you don't need to actually purchase those pieces. You're only purchasing just what you need. The tight integration of a DCS system allows it to have a high level of quality control. The, the system, all the components within that system, whether it's the controller, the graphical user interface, or any of the other functional of the control system, has been tested by that vendor over and over again. Another advantage of a DCS system is that they scale up really well. So as your system grows and you want to add more functionality to that system, it's easy to add functionality because it's already pre-tested. All you have to do is install it and it's tested already. There's not a lot of integration effort needed for that. So to choose between a DCS and PLC system, there's a lot of factors that go into that question and, and things like the complexity of the system, the, the size, the I.O. count, um, the redundancy, familiarity with the, with the system already, and of course the budget is a key one. So the best thing to do would be to uh, have Autobro come and do a study for you. We'll look at all those factors and come up with a recommendation of what's the best system choice for you that meets all those factors and you know this is a system you're going to be living with for the next 20 years so you want to make sure you're comfortable with your decision.